iguanas. Yeah, this one. Iguanas. All right, folks. So here we are. This is iguanas, authentic Mexican food, cold beer, and great margaritas. I already put the ladies at a table. I already ordered a, a margarita. But all right, so here we go. Walking in, the iguanas. And folks, I like this spot. You know, mostly I am down there at the Kid Reef. But this is up here near the condo. I want you to check out the ladies here. Hold on, because there's a major violation going on. Helen of Troy <laughs> is drinking my margarita. Baby, stop that, stop that. I thought No, no, that's not for you. Mm. That strawberry margarita would be for the king. Mm. All right, so there we go, folks. Strawberry margarita. I'm looking forward to tearing into that. We've got a little forest over there with my ladies. And here's just a look around, folks. There's the bar area. And there were some other patrons. I don't want to bother them. But um, here we are at Iguana. Yeah, so the margaritas are made fresh as you order them. They're not coming out of a machine. And I had a regular margarita the other night. It was delicious. But today I'm gonna to try the strawberry. And I'm gonna take a look at the food here in a minute. But let me let me get my camera set up on the tripod so I can uh, do a little bit better filming, less shaky video. All right, folks. I got the got the video camera up on the tripod now. A little stable video. Here's a strawberry margarita. Let me just stir this bad boy up just a little bit. Usually I go with regular margaritas, but today I felt like going with something a little more fruity. Oh yeah, I'll take that. Maybe? 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 Yes, baby. No. Okay, the problem. Here's, here's the problem, folks. Helen of Troy is trying to clip my margarita. But what you don't know about Helen of Troy is that, okay, she's a wonderful girl. Great personality. But if she starts drinking, she turns into the Filipina biatch of the entire Philippines. All right, she gets crazy. Bad mood, drama, stomping around, Holy stumbling around. Excuse me. Baby, hold on a second. I'm, I'm trying to make a YouTube video if you didn't already guess. So, Helen of Troy is on a, on a tight leash when it comes to drinking because I ain't got no time to deal with the, what, I, what I dealt with on a couple of previous occasions. Okay. For example, she was supposed to go to a birthday party. And she came back hammered. I'm talking she was smashed off of Imperador and anything else that they offered her to drink over there. So I wasn't real pleased by that. Okay? And, you know, I like to take care of my ladies, but I definitely do not want a woman that gets more drunk than me. And that's a country song. I don't remember the exact lyrics, but I do not want a woman that gets drunker than me, drinks more than me, or gets drunk. Who, who the hell is going to take care of me, my friends? So when I see her trying to pinch my margarita, I got to put the brakes on Helen of Troy over there. Really? That's really, you know that 100%. Mm. Alright, so let me go over the menu. Okay. Um, for the margarita is $1.90. Got a pitcher for, uh, what is that, $7.30? Strawberry margarita is two twenty, <laughs> and romarita is only one thirty. All right, forty five on the coke, one fifty on the coronas, and sixty five on all the same mix. Uh, you know, fair prices, my friends. 
Now the other day, I'm gonna try to remember what I went with. I went with, uh, what did I go with? I think the other day I went with the fajita burrito. That was on time. And I took home the Puerto Veracruz, I guess, which is a, yeah, it's a pork tenderloin. And I took home one other dish for the ladies. Ladies, the dishes, the, the stuff that I brought home the other night, I brought home some pork and chicken, right? Which one did you eat, baby? You had the pork? It was delicious? All right, so Fatima said that pork, which is the Puerto Veracruz, was delicious. And I can't remember what the chicken dish was, so we, I don't want to talk about it. But give me a few minutes to decide what we're going to eat, and I'm going to take it from there, folks. But again, I'm coming to you from Iguana's Mexican restaurant in Angeles City, up near, uh, past the Clarkin, way on up here. Up on the left, uh, almost to Burger King. All right, let me get the order. I'll get right back on it. Right back with you. Two carne large, and then one for you, that's chicken, tapas, beef, soft shell. That'll work. Okay, thank you. Thank you. All right, folks, so I asked these ladies over here what they wanted, and they're always indecisive, and I have to just pull the trigger. So we're going with the uh, chicken fajitas. Those are 390. We're going with a large bowl of chili con carne. That's 190. And we're going with the spiced beef tacos for 200. Here's a look at the menu if you're interested. I'm shooting 60 frames per second, so you should be able to, well, well shining on there. I think you should be able to stop the video and check out the menu, 60 frames. All right, so I got these ladies over here. Let me zoom in on these ladies. And they're messing with the baby. But my God, these ladies look beautiful today, folks. Wow. I have baby. All right, folks, so this is the chili con carne. And it's a large portion. We got a side of onions, cheese, Looks like a little butter, and we've got tortillas here. So I'm excited about tearing up this chili con carne. Folks, let me tell you something about Filipinas, right? Okay, I told my Filipinas, look, I'm gonna, I'm gonna make you one of these uh, chili con carne. You know, just put some on the plate. Don't put the garlic. There is no garlic on there. There's onions, there's cheese, and there's butter. Filipinas. Now, folks, they, I mean, they love when you cook for them, but they're so damn picky. You know, even when I'm in the kitchen trying to make them a great meal, they're over there watching me. Just don't put that, put this up. They are not culinary adventurous at all. They're, 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 if, if this is the, the, the range of tastes, okay, their range of taste is about like this. And if you get outside that, that range of taste, they're not going to eat it. And, and I understand it because... You know, like my wife's from the village. They don't have a huge variety of what they eat down there. Okay, her and her family, if they got fried chicken and rice, that's all they want to eat. Put a little soy sauce, maybe some pancit, that's it. Don't change the menu, all right? But I'm gonna make these ladies some of this, uh, just scoop them out. A little of this chili con carne here. All right, I like to make it, uh, you know, like a tortilla style. Put a little bit of that in there. You want extra onions, you said? No, no, no. Helen's saying no onions. All right, a little cheese. It's cheese. Yes? Yes. All right, so look there. I throw a little cheese on Helen of Troy's plate. You want a little butter? Yeah. Look at that, folks. That looks delicious. She does want go with a little bit of butter on here okay so look at that beautiful I'm gonna wrap this up for Helena Troy she's over there holding the baby and she is gonna love me for this 
There we go. There's the finished product. Look at that peeking out. That looks delicious. All right, let me pass it over to Helen. Thank you. You're very welcome. And the Fatima. Fatima is not waiting on nobody. <laughs> She's not waiting on nobody, my friends. <laughs> Chow down, baby. Get it. Get it. Take a bite. Take a bite. You know, folks, a lot of people are shy when you stick a camera in their face. I got it. But these ladies right here are already YouTube superstars and YouTube sensations. And they still get too shy when I stick the damn camera in their face. I'm like, look, what are we trying to do here? Run a YouTube channel or, or not? Oh, shit. I gotta make my my own chili con carne and it's gonna have all the fixings. How is it ladies? Have you tried it yet? Maybe. I got my wife feeding my girlfriend because the girlfriend's holding the baby. So that's good teamwork. If you don't believe me, folks. You, you think we don't have a good life? You, you want to feel sorry for these girls? That is happiness right there. When your girlfriend or when your wife will feed your girlfriend while the girlfriend's holding your baby. You gotta love it. Damn, I love my life. How is it, baby? Good? All right, I gotta try mine, folks. Well, let's see what Fatima says. Come on, baby, let's go. I'm gonna have to tell you something later. Go ahead, baby, tell me. Later? Later? You don't wanna tell YouTube? No, because you have already a YouTube channel. You already um, video. Baby, could you try that again with a complete English sentence where I can understand? Because I'm into Oh, okay, okay. All right, I got it. Do you... Do you see how these Filipinos stress me out? Yeah. My God, I'm stressed out all the time with these Filipinos. Now on mine, I'm going with the onions. I'm hitting it extra, extra on the onions. So when I kiss these ladies later on, they're going to be like, whoa. You don't like the smell of onions? Yeah. Maybe you eat onion. Okay, well, maybe I don't like the smell of, of, of liver or that dried ass fish y'all eat. Stink up the condo. There we go, folks. Check that out. Get a cross section of that right there. Mm. Oh, my goodness. This is going to be delicious. Oh, no. What do we got going on here? All right, thank you very much, ladies. Folks, take a look at this. Now that's for the fajitas. And these are the tacos over here. Oh my goodness. So I am excited about that right there. I'm coffee. Let's this baby. Okay, now let me try out this, 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 uh, this little gem right here. Mm. Mm hmm That's good. Now I know why the ladies like it. Because it is not spicy. My ladies do not like anything spicy. They'll complain, bitch, moan. That is not spicy. It's good, but it needs some hot sauce. I'm gonna hit it with this sauce. All right. Look at those fajitas coming in there, folks. This young lady done brought them in. My goodness. Thank you very much. So anyhow, so we, so we're, we got our order here, but back to my first dish, what I was talking about, my ladies do not like anything spicy. The reason that they're eating this whole thing is because it's not spicy and it is good. 
but I'm gonna make it delicious by hitting it with this hot sauce. The red sauce that they have here, and they also have the green sauce. And that green sauce, I hit it the other night, is good. So when I, when I add the sauces, it's gonna turn this thing into delicious. But that's pretty cool. I'm glad it's not spicy because if it was spicy, these girls wouldn't eat it. Easy for me to spice it up. Mm. All right, that's pretty good. Now I'm going with this uh, the beef taco. I already have put some sour cream on there, but I'm gonna spice it up. I got to spice it up with the hot sauce. Hit it with the red sauce, hit it with the green sauce. Now what do we got over here? It's a little salsa, I think. Yeah. Throw a little salsa down on that bad boy too. A little salsa. what we're left with right there. We roll it up, take a quick bite. All right, pretty good. The ladies have uh, attacked the fajitas. I don't even know if I'm gonna get a slice of that fajita meat. There, tearing it up. Whew. All right, folks, tore that up like some champions. All right, pretty good lunch. Mm. I am full. I cannot eat not one more bite. It's time to roll out. So I want to thank everybody here at uh, Iguana's Mexican Restaurant for taking care of us today. Had a uh, very nice lunch. We'll see you guys next time. Well, folks, this was your look around and your tour of Iguana's Mexican Restaurant in Angeles City in the Philippines. Peace out.